Lisa Brennan Jobs, Small Fry, a memoir. Welcome to the captivating world of A Small Fry, a memoir, a heartwarming account of Lisa Brennan Jobs as she navigates life with her enigmatic father, Steve Jobs. This memoir explores the turbulence of a father-daughter relationship, shining a light on the complexities of love, forgiveness, and self-discovery. As you delve into this summary, expect to encounter a gripping narrative that encapsulates the on-and-off relationship between Chris and Brennan and Steve Jobs and the birth of a daughter who strives to find her place in her father's heart. Steve Jobs and Chris N. Brennan, The Early Days In 1972, Steve Jobs and Chris N. Brennan met in high school and started an on-again, off-again relationship that lasted nearly six years. They fell in love in the first year and stood up against Chris Ann's mother, who suffered from paranoid schizophrenia. Steve and Chris Ann moved in together in the summer, paid rent by selling blue boxes, and Steve left for Reed College in the fall only to drop out. Chris Ann started dating someone else, and their relationship ended without much conversation. Two years later, they reunited, and Chris Ann started working at Apple, but she planned to leave Steve. However, an unintended pregnancy changed her plans, and Steve's furious reaction marked a turning point in their relationship. Steve Jobs' Paternity Case In 1980, Steve Jobs was sued by the District Attorney of San Mateo County to pay child support for his daughter, Lisa, whom he had denied paternity for years and provided no substantial financial support. After a DNA test proved he was Lisa's father, Steve settled the case by paying $500 per month in child support, health insurance until Lisa's 18th birthday, and reimbursing the state all welfare payments. This occurred four days before Apple went public, and Steve became worth $200 million. Despite being legally recognized as Lisa's father, Steve continued to deny paternity, but would still carry a picture of Lisa in his wallet and tell people that he was trying to be there for her. Steve Jobs' Daughter Lisa Brennan Jobs had a tough upbringing with a mother who loved her but struggled to provide for her. Meanwhile, her father, Steve Jobs, was a multimillionaire and a distant figure in her life. Despite fears of being kidnapped, Lisa couldn't resist telling her new friends at school who her father was. Chris Ann's frustrations overflowed in frightening outbreaks characterized by screaming obscenities at the windshield and insulting epithets at her daughter. When Lisa turned 13, due to the situation at home, officials called Steve, informing him that if he didn't take her in, they would be forced to call social services. Upon learning that she'd be living with Steve, it felt like a fantasy come true, however, reality proved to be quite different. Lisa Brennan Jobs' Relationship with Her Father, Steve Jobs Lisa Brennan Jobs, daughter of Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, spent her youth trying to build a relationship with her father. A brief interaction in passing one day, ended up being something that would weigh heavily on her. Steve asked her if she wanted to change her name, a request that had her reeling. Lisa eventually landed on a hyphenated version of both last names, but this did not entitle her to any special treatment. Steve was often highly critical of Lisa's efforts to impress him and frequently insinuated that she did not want to be a part of his family. Lisa's Harvard Dream Lisa's acceptance into Harvard is a dream come true for her, but also a shocking surprise for her skeptical father. Despite his lack of support, Lisa sees this as her chance to prove her worth and escape her lonely past. The Family Ultimatum During the summer before senior year at Harvard, Lisa's relationship with Chris Ann, her mother, was improving until Steve, Lisa's stepfather, asked her to go to the circus which Lisa refused, leading to Steve telling her that she was not part of the family if she didn't go and that she had to move out. Lisa contacted Steve's neighbors and moved out on the same day while Steve and his family were at the circus. Lisa never heard from Steve for the rest of the summer and returned to Harvard with her tuition unpaid until Kevin, Steve's neighbor, paid for her final year. Steve and Lisa started drifting apart after this incident. The Lisa Computer As the daughter of Steve Jobs, Lisa struggled to know if the Lisa Computer was named after her or not. 
Her father denied it until he finally admitted the truth to her when she was 27 on a yachting trip in the south of France. In a tender moment before his death, Steve apologized to Lisa for not spending enough time with her. After his passing, Lisa's relationship with her mother improved, and she felt her father's joy being with her. As the story of A Small Fry, a memoir concludes, we see a poignant transformation of Lisa Brennan Jobs and her relationship with her father. Beyond the uncertain nature of her lineage, Lisa ultimately embraces her role as Steve Jobs' daughter and seeks to understand and accept the man behind the legendary Apple name. This emotionally charged memoir reveals the significance of love, the power of forgiveness, and the importance of staying true to oneself. With an extraordinary personal tale that unveils the life and mind of one of the most influential figures in modern history, Small Fry, a memoir, is a testament to the struggles and triumphs experienced by one woman seeking to establish a connection with her father, 